different seasons. Yeah. Winter up to the north in Algona and almost spring-like conditions here in the metro. Algona right now still under that blizzard warning. You've got the wind-driven snow, 30 degrees, and it was really coming down earlier. Now the heaviest snow has moved just to the west and northwest of town. Humboldt, the flakes were coming down pretty furious earlier. You picked up about an inch of accumulation pretty quickly, and now it's just kind of a slushy day out there. The plows are out helping to clear the roads. 34 degrees right now in Humboldt, so you're riding the line. It's going to be a slushy afternoon before readings fall. At the airport, you might even think, hey, I can picture a spring-like thunder shower out there this morning. The clouds are just so juicy, and it's 46 degrees. Yes, it's breezy, but we've got a south wind here in Des Moines, while up to the north, it is that brisk north wind causing a lot of problems. Heavier snows continue to fly from Mason City, now just north and northwest of Algona through Spencer, while we're getting kind of a dry spell for the central part of the state. A few showers are going to be possible later on this afternoon, but the heavier, more steady rain is pretty much done with. You can see on the road condition map, worst conditions to the northwest of us, and you can see all the snow plows out and about. Travel not even being recommended across parts of west central Iowa there in the orange and up towards Sioux City and even into southern Minnesota. So a bad day to travel up to Minneapolis today. We do have that blizzard warning continuing until midnight from Algona back through Pocahontas over towards Storm Lake and off to the west. And then just a county off to the east, a winter storm warning and a winter weather advisory. You'll have lighter snow totals, but travel is still going to be really tricky and kind of a headache today. You can see the big comma in this area of low pressure wrapping back into southwest Iowa. Heavy, wet snows from Minneapolis back through central Nebraska and now wrapping toward Kansas City while we were dealing with thunder showers this morning with even some hail. One of the plow cams for you, this is up at Highway 18 near Emmitsburg, near whiteout conditions because of that heavy, wet snow falling and because of the wind. Winds are coming in from the north, gusting at times close to 50 miles per hour. While here we've got that south wind, well, our winds are going to be changing too later on today. Our visibilities are good right now after that foggy morning. The sun even came out. Algona, visibility falling back to a quarter of a mile, and it's been even lower at times close to the Carroll area, especially in the open areas in the country. That's where we have the whiteout conditions. By 3 o'clock, we have a chance of a little bit more rain activity for central and, and southern Iowa, while western Iowa deals with more snow showers. We'll have that transition taking place sometime during that evening commute. Those heavy, wet snowflakes will be coming down. By 8 o'clock, we'll have a chance for some accumulation. That snow is going to be very sticky, too, continuing through about 10 p.m. this evening before pulling off to the east. Still, the heaviest snow will be falling across the northwestern counties. Algona may end up with 5 inches, but there could be 8 to 14 inches just north of the border. Here's your 8-day forecast. This blizzard mess moves out and we get a stretch of gorgeous weather in here. Tomorrow will be a touch cooler than it's been, but only in the 30s. That's not too bad. 40s and 50s quickly follow, and even the weekend is looking quiet and pretty pleasant. Yeah, well, to the west and northwest, be careful, yes. but for the metro, that is a really good stretch, and I'm excited it to is. see that sun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Mitch.